it's this much throw. And we are playing Criminal Case, Bristol Past, Case 31, Bridge Over Troubled Water. Let's unlock Chapter 2 and Ramirez found the uh, victim's car, right? There has been a development. An abandoned vehicle was found near the docks on the Irish side, and a registration number shows it was the victim's car. With this car has been found, but yet there must be valuable evidence in it. Let's go to the docks, past haste. Okay. Alright. Finally, we're going to rescue your car. Let's see how. What kind of customers did you have? <laughs> On fabric and it's covered in blood. It must be for the slaughterhouse. Oh, and cigar box. Italian flag, so it must belong to one of the Italians. It's one of the Italian suspects. So it's the victim's car. It does quite have the horsepower of the Mad Mobile, but the suspension seems rather excellent. And Dodge by Wick at the arrive, those bloodstained rats may account for the crime scene. Let's piece them back together. The record is proved that the killer drove the victim's car here after the murder, and then abandoned it, full of incriminating evidence. Yeah, the big mistake you just made. What about reason for a tour inspection? Let's look inside the car's toolkit. That's a cigar box has the Italian flag in the lid on it. Something else is faded on the lid. Let's recover it. Oh, probably going to find out whose cigar box is this. Alright, let's first do this torn fabric. We're gonna restore it, right? Okay. My wallet after you piece back together is soaked in blood. The letter face for forgot uh, he's a prone. <laughs> I was just kidding. It must be from the killer. Cadet is a prone must have come from a crisis. Given how gruesome the murder was, the killer evidently needed this to protect their clothes. It also confirms your hush that the killer drove the car away from the crisis to dump evidence here. But he failed, so. But now that you found it, let's send the opera to VR. This will seal the killer's fate. Yeah. Okay, 12 hours. Alright, now let's search through this toolkit. Tell you didn't keep your word, Scott. Yeah, there was a note in the car's toolkit. As the restaurant wait, it said, Tom, says Tommy, you didn't keep your word. And a note is signed by Scott. Yeah, it can only be Scott Buckley, the Irish immigrant who claimed Tommy Boy was his friend. You better ask Mr. Buckley why he wrote this angry note to the victim. Oh, did, uh, did uh, Tommy promise something to you? What went wrong? Alright, now the cigar box. Scorpion. Oh wait, I know someone whose uh, surname is Scorpion. Yes, he will reveal the cigar box seems familiar. A Scorpion about an Italian flag. Great memory, Katia. I saw the same Scorpion symbol on the lighter of an Italian gangster, Antonio Dante. He goes by the Supreme Tony the Scorpion. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> we met Tony when his brother was murdered, mistaken for the Scarlet Slayer. Though he's a real boss with no love for the Irish, but Korea killed Tommy Boyd. Right, did the cigar box attest that Tony rode in with his scar? Better find him and get his story. Alright, Scorpion is back. Get over here. Alright, first let's go question Scott about this note. 
Mr. Bucky said Thomas Boy was your friend, but Cat Katia found proof that he let you down. I didn't want to speak ill of the dead, Cat Katia, especially not of a fellow countryman. But a true Irishman never goes back on his word, and that's exactly what Tommy did. He promised he'd teach me to drive the automobile and give me a job in his taxi cab business. The Korean dream was finally within my reach. But after the first lesson, Tommy said I was too old to learn. I only drove into a lamp post once, but he never allowed me behind the wheel again. Cat Katia, everyone tells me the Italians are our enemies here in Concordia, but who needs Italian fools when your own compatriots leave you in the lodge? Mr. Buck, I hope you didn't make Thomas Boyd your deadly foe, or soon you'll be looking for friends in prison. Ah, oh, that was very harsh of Tommy. Alright, now let's go talk to Scorpion. Hello, we meet again. Pet Katia, I meet again. Hope you are keeping those Irish pigs in check before they stick up the whole city. Here to see that you'd mention Irish pig story, we're looking for someone who murdered an Irishman in a slaughterhouse, on your side of Crimson Banks. He was a taxi driver and kept Katia's found your cigar box in his car. What do you have to say about this, Tony? You tried to pin a murder on me because I took a taxi once? Porca vaca, that's pathetic. No judge will send me to prison on a strange of this and I've been put away once or twice so I know what I'm talking about. We know the Italians have sworn revenge against the Irish for your gang leader's murder. You must know about Frank and Capetch's plans. Even if I did, I won't tell you. Can't tell you if you want peace in Crimson Banks, you can start by leaving me alone. I will, as soon as I arrest the killer. Let's check out this Sopran. Yeah, no matter how old I get, I never tire of looking at chemical compounds under the microscope. It reminds me of dear Papa, who first showed me the powders at Christmas in the family apothecary. You must have to have parents who encourage your interest in life, Viola. Mine always just fret about me getting married and learning to cook. I sure just still want the best for you, Maddie. But alas, I know you're here on urgent business, which leads you back to microscopes and molecules. As you did use Katia the blood on this approach, you found since the victim's scar was a match with the victim's. Body size of blood, I found a chemical compound on the fabric. It was made up of carbon, hydrogen, chlorine, and oxygen, or chlorohydrate for short. Chlorohydrate is a drug people to prescribe to calm frayed nerves, and since there was no trace of it in the victim's bloodstream, it could only have been left out of a by the killer. Well, chlorohydrate it was enough to calm the killer's murderous rage. And speaking of what we do, we'll do, we'll do go back to the slaughterhouse for a fresh look at the crime scene. Yeah, let's go. We do well to go have talk. How did I say it? <laughs> Alright, let's investigate slaughterhouse again. And this time slaughterhouse table. Uh, cap, hoots. What do I need this cake for? Yeah, the camp found looks familiar, but I can't quite remember where I've seen it before. Yeah, the camp is covered in some strange yellow butts. Let's see if collect that stuff, but it will jog my memory. And that cake is adorable. It's decorated with little piggies all around, but slaughterhouses don't usually sell cake. You reckon it's a gift for that but butcher girl, Patty? It's true, she seems fond of piggies. There's a little note on top of the cake. Let's cover the writing. Okay. Alright, let's first collect this yellow powder from the cap. Alright, not exactly a powder, but something yellow. Okay, yeah, now we have some of those yellow bars in the cap. Let's put them under the microscope and see what they are. Okay. Alright, now this cake. Uh, 
Uh, is that Italian? Or this Irish kind of uh, language? Gaelic? Dash for wake the road to the cave of Betty is written in Italian. But try, right, whatever Betty is high, you should reveal. Let's get this cake to her. And don't eat it! Not yet. Nine hours. Now this yellow buds. Yeah, that's five dry hops. Those spots of collection are can be found in the solar cards are hops. Hops are used for brewing and flowering beer. Trust the rest of the drink on that, Katria. And I also know why that cow looked familiar to me when I first saw it. Surely one man in Kokodia who brews his own beer using hops. They were with Murphy, the bottle that I used to be chumps with. And he also wears a flat cow, so I don't like the one you found. Oh, damn, but you're back. A fresh cool considerably after you arrested Devil for running a fight club underneath his pub when that poor doctor was beaten to death. But if he found his gap in the slaughterhouse, house, he must have been released. You better find Devil to make sure he's not looking for trouble again. And how long was he in prison? Well, he didn't kill, so... So it was just a short sentence, right? And we can put that he was uh, in prison for him. And that makes me suspicious because Kyur was also in prison. Devor, can to explain what you and your cap are doing out of prison? You are supposed to be locked up for running an illegal fight club. Why, if it's not bad, I can get from flying squad. I thought I was shot of here once I got out of prison. I was released for good behavior in life. Won't be up to any trouble again, I promise you. Well, trouble's already brewing in Crusade Banks. A fellow named Thomas Boy was found murdered. Did you know him? Tommy Boyd? Ah, he used to come by me pub before Cat Katia put me away and shut the place down. But I haven't seen you since. Can't help it there, I'm afraid. I see. Just one more question there. What were you doing in the slaughterhouse on the Italian side? That's where you found your cap. Why by me? What else? Me lady friend Rachel loves a good steak and she sent me out on an errand to get some. We'll take your word for it this time, Demo, but make sure we don't live to regret it. Alright, just that for now. That you have been in prison. Let's check out this text from this cake. Here you can tell us what Italian message means of Betty's cake. Their message is simple. Here's something to sweeten the deal. Sweeten the deal? It sounds a lot like what gangs would, would say. What kind of deals was Betty making with the Italians? Katrina, is this about the Italian gang? They're here in Cruise Banks, right? Kind of people, just like the Quiet Gorge. The better is in league with them, I want to go to the Slark house, house with you. I want to get even with those dots of the Italian gangsters. Even if we understand you're angry about what the gang did to you in Kuros Gush, but please leave this to us. You'd best stay safe on the airship. But rest assured, Katia, I'll confront Betty about her deals with the Italians. Oh. Is it evicting again? Alright, let's talk to Betty. Ah, you're really pissed at petticoats, let's write that down. Ah, get the I was so engrossed in pistols and petticoats, I didn't hear you. What would you like? A pork chop? Some bacon? I'd like some answers about the deals you've been making with the Italians. You know how it is, Captain Katia, sometimes you do the favor and the customer is grateful. The Italians run this side of the river, it helps to be cordial with them. But the only deal we have is that I deliver meat to them on time. They just like to put big words on things. I won't get mixed up in any trouble. I already beat the jail when I was young. I'm really fastidious about doing everything by the book. And I sure I was killed in your shop. If you were involved, you'll be in fresh trouble indeed. Yeah. She's she, she kinda of behaves like she doesn't care about uh, the murder. Cause you have a dead Irish on our hands, but we're in a slaughterhouse on the Italian side of the Crimson Banks. Of all the is my former friend, Deborah McMurphy, who's out of prison back in town. But he claims to have learned his lesson and was no more trouble with the law. He also met another old acquaintance, Tony, the Scorpion Dante. He hears the one who killed Toby Boyd and is definitely against when Detta for rhetoric patches murder. 
But for now, the only software who held any grudge against the victim is another Irishman, Scott Buckley. He was desperate for work, and Tommy refused to employ him as a driver. Ring. What? Who is going in? This leaves us with... There, is that the phone ringing? How exciting. No one ever telephones us. Flying squad, hello. Katria, help me! Someone's trying to kill me! Wow, so he's trying to finish what he started with you when you got shot? Who? Alright, let's see about that. We're gonna start here. We're gonna continue playing chapter 3. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye! He's in the back, in the back.